So, another change of scenery, yet again. It's going to be happening a lot, so I don't know when I'll have a place to regularly record or a place to regularly upload or anything really, so pretty much get used to seeing a lot of different shit in the background. This chapter starts off right where we left off last time with Naruto meeting Shin Uchiha, and uh, Shin looks uh, really, really angry. Like, Naruto did something to him personally. So, I'm kind of wondering what happened there. We also find out that freaking Sheen has the Mangekyo Sharingan. I mean, like, what did... How did... When did... What? But it actually looks quite a bit different than any other Mangekyo that I remember seeing. It's more like bulbous and circular with little itty bitty teeny tiny points on it instead of, like... Sasuke or Itachi's at all, really. But now, we also find out that Kurama is still with Naruto. Fuck yes. And he goes into the new epic fucking bijou mode. But seeing this, Shin immediately shits his goddamn pants and leaves. As I would, too. <laughs> I mean, who the hell wouldn't? There aren't many who could stand on Naruto's level right now. So we go on and we see some more pleasantries with Chocho and Naruto and Salada. They're all just kind of reeling in the aftermath of being attacked by a strange Uchiha. When Naruto gives Salada praise and she seems to be kind of really into it. She's like blushing here and I mean I really hope that this is more like a she's looking up to him as a fatherly figure kind of thing instead of like a weird But this doesn't surprise me that Salada is showing this kind of interest in Naruto because Boruto is obviously in the movie he's going to be training under Sasuke. So it would make sense that Salada is having this kind of connection with Naruto building up the fact that she's probably going to be training with Naruto. I mean because her dad's a dick and he's never around so. So for some reason, it's really, this is really strange to me. For some reason, Naruto here doesn't remember that Salada has never met her father. I mean, Naruto knows that Sasuke hasn't been in the village since he left after the war. Like, or after, after whatever kind of events led up to the conception of Salada. So how, why would he think that Salada would even know anything about her own father. It's just weird to me. So they sit down and eat lunch and Naruto bullshits about his uh, academy days and uh, tells Salada and Chocho stories about Sasuke. So then we get kind of a montage of them traveling to the rendezvous point with Sasuke. When they decide to take a break and Salada, unable to wait any longer, charges on ahead to go meet Sasuke. And whoa! She's got her Sharingan! So this is the first time that I've, we've ever seen a female in the show with the Sharingan. And that's kind of interesting to me because every other Sharingan that we've seen awaken has awoken during battle. But also, we've only seen males Sharingan awaken and they always do it during battle. So maybe female emotions are stronger or different with the Uchiha and the, the Uchiha women can kind of like awaken their Sharingan through pure emotion during any kind of situation, whether it's under stress or not. So then we see Salada's first glimpse at her father, her first real glimpse at her father, and he fucking pulls a sword on her. <sighs> father of the year. Father of the year. But no, seriously, I can totally understand why he would do this. I mean, he just, just got attacked by a strange Uchiha child that he didn't recognize. So obviously, he sees, he sees another kid with the Sharingan. Immediately, I would too, thinking, this is another one of them. 
it's, it's another one out to attack me, so I'm going to be on the defensive. So I totally understand why he did this. But again, re another really awesome chapter. Amped it up yet again, as I'm sure it will continue to do. So I'm not even, I'm going to stop mentioning it now because I just sound like a fucking retard talking about the same fucking thing. I mean, not a whole lot happened. I would like to have seen a longer fight with Shin and Naruto. I mean, I know a, a real fight between them. <laughs> Naruto would annihilate this kid, obviously. But I, I wanted to see Naruto kind of play with this kid a little bit longer before he disappeared again. Kind of see more of Shin's... Uh, true mission because I mean because he went after he went after Naruto this time so I'm thinking that their mission is probably to collect some kind of DNA from Naruto and Sasuke maybe they just basically what I think this guy this this father guy and Shin are trying to do is create the next sage of the six paths because first they attack Sasuke then they attack Naruto so it's gotta be, it's gotta be something along those lines. Otherwise, why would you attack the two strongest ninja to exist? But yeah, loving this chapter again. Can't wait till next week.